out to undermine the precepts of our parliamentary democracies without a shred of evidence to back that up. And meanwhile, we have collaborated with the regime. And meanwhile, we have frequently shown indifference both to the sufferings which have been perpetrated by the regime, but as we're here gathered today to reflect upon the suffering of people who are currently held in Camp Ashraf. Just two weeks ago, Robin raised that question in the House and I contributed a supplementary question to it. And I agree with what was being said before about the Minister of State in the Foreign Office, Lord Howell of Guildford. I thought that at last we had an attentive ear, that we had someone who was willing to enter into the suffering that has been taking place in Ashraf. And I gave him subsequently documents from lawyers in Madrid who have themselves been able to take this case into the Spanish courts. And I simply asked the question, why it is possible in Spain, which is after all, as we are too, a member of NATO, but also a member of the European Union, if it is possible to take a court like this, where a country is manifestly in dereliction of its duties underneath the, um, under the Geneva Convention, if it's possible to take Iraqi officials through the courts in Spain, why is it not possible for us to do the same here as well? It is an undisputed fact that the current regime in Iran is not serious in negotiation. It has no intention of changing its behaviour and indeed it's incapable of reform because it would lead to its collapse. After years of experience and in particular the failure of the Istanbul talks, no one can deny this unless they are supporters of the regime in Iran. In my view, having known the National Council for Resistance over these last 30 years. I believe they're not only the driving force for democratic change in Iran, but given the current turmoil in the region and the Iran Iranian regime's attempts to divert the course of people's movement for democracy to an authoritarian regime, we've seen the terrible repression of demonstrations in the country, 